In this video, I am going to show you how to add a Turnitin assignment to your Schoology. So the first thing that you want to do is go to your course that you're adding it to. Once you're in your course, you're going to click Add Materials, and you're going to choose Add File Link External Tool. We're going to choose External Tool. And from the tool provider drop down, we are going to choose Turn It In. We need to make sure it has a title. Um, we are going to want to enable grading. When we enable grading, we're going to want to give it a due date. We're also going to need to put it into a category. And then we'll hit Submit. Next. You will open the assignment um, and you can add um, additional adjustments here. So you would go up here to settings and here is where you can um, add some instructions. For your students to see, you can also um, change what your maximum grade is. You can adjust your start date and your due date and then also the date that you want your feedback released to the students. You can also click here to optional settings to just anything else that you might need. Um, allow submission of any type. You want to make sure that you want that one checked. Also, down here allow students to view similarity reports. Those are the things you might want to make sure you have checked. Submit. If you want to allow resubmissions, um, maybe you want them to be able to submit more than once, um, then you are going to need to change the generate reports immediately drop down. If you always want them to be able to resubmit, then you can check the box, uh, save these settings for future use. Um, if you want it to just uh, be for one time, then you would not check that. And you have several different options here. You can allow them to submit into the due date, um, and after three submissions, a report will generate or um, just allow them to resubmit until the due date. We can save those changes. You can also make changes to submission settings. Um, there may be times that you want to change the default. Um, for example, if the student, you want the student to submit a rough draft as one assignment and then the final draft as another assignment then you would want to change the settings from standard paper repository to do not store the submitted paper on the rough draft so that it will not flag it in the similarity count when they submit the final draft. So you would change this to that and you would have two different assignments, one for the rough draft and one for the final uh, copy. Again, if you want to save these settings for future use, you can click there um, and hit submit to make sure um, that that's the case. Um, if your courses are linked, if your all your sections are linked together into one course, you'll need to look at the turn it in assignments for each section. So um, since I'm only in one course here, I can't exactly show you, but you have that draw down here and you would want to go into each course. Um, and check to make sure that those settings are correct. 